with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. All right, so for the next several days, the trend will shift from talking a lot about rain showers to talking more about heat. We still, though, have a few lingering showers and downpours right now on live Pinpoint Doppler 12, and a lot of them are gathered in northern Rhode Island. We do have a little cluster just to the north of Fall River, and that continues to move to the north. But if we focus on this particular activity, you can see a downpour over Route 44 near Greenville, Smithfield picking up a few showers, and we have a few downpours developing in the Woonsocket area. Again, most of these are fairly brief, so we're not anticipating any major flooding issues, but you could get some brief puddles on the road there. In Newport, we are looking at mostly cloudy skies, had some Thick fog here earlier, nothing doing right now though, and a nice breeze developing here in North Kingstown, helping to take a little bit of an edge off the heat and humidity. So your forecast for this afternoon shows most of the activity stays to our north and west. Now some of these storms in central Connecticut, central Massachusetts could be strong with hail and very gusty winds and heavy downpours, but I think we should be okay in terms of avoiding most of them. One or two could slip through, so it's something we'll have to watch carefully into the afternoon, but not nearly as many showers compared to what we saw yesterday. Yesterday. By 5 or 6 p.m., I think most of the commute is looking okay. A slight chance of an isolated shower or storm, but you can see the bulk of the action still to our west. And then overnight through tomorrow morning, finally that front starts to cross. That could trigger a few early morning showers with thunderstorms. Again, this is very early tomorrow morning. I think it's fairly sparse though. And then we get ready for the first of what could be our next heat wave. This is around 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Mostly sunny skies and very hot. Temperatures right now running in the low to mid 80s, 82 in Providence. 84 in Taunton, 80 in Newport, but of course you factor in the humidity. We have dew points that are borderline ridiculous right now. 75 in Newport, 75 westerly, even low to mid 70s here in Providence. That does not feel comfortable. In fact, when you factor in the humidity with the temperatures, it's feeling like 90 right now in Taunton, 87 New Bedford. So it doesn't take much in the way of even a little bit of sunshine right now to make it feel very hot out there. It's uh, a 60 mile an hour breeze right now in Providence, 14 in Newport. Again, not feeling too bad if you're out there in some of that humidity. And overall, you can see high pressure continues to pump the moisture in our direction. Eventually, though, a front moves through tonight through tomorrow morning. We get on the more favorable side of that front to at least tap into some slightly more comfortable air. I'll show you how that works in just a minute. Uh, 4 o'clock this afternoon, still quite warm, low to mid 80s inland, upper 70s to around 80 degrees at the south coast. We'll cool things off a little bit at the coast with those onshore winds. And by around 7 or 8 p.m., you can see temperatures still warm. That's because we still have a lot of humidity in place, so that means the uh, heat can kind of hang on. And then our dew point forecast breaks down like this. Now, borderline oppressive today, not borderline, it's just oppressive. You can feel it if you've been out there already. And then tomorrow, how about this? When was the last time we were excited because it was sticky outside, but it's going to feel a lot more comfortable humidity wise tomorrow. And then on Thursday and Friday, you can see what happens. Humidity comes right back at us, especially on Friday, feeling more tropical like by the weekend. And that could trigger an isolated shower or two on Saturday, but not a high enough chance for me to put the shower in the forecast just yet. And then it does look like we could have that clean break from the humidity and heat by Sunday into Monday highs closer to 80. But in the meantime, some more humidity on the way. And again, Brian, if that Wednesday temperature tomorrow flips to 90, we could have our next heat wave. So we're not completely done with the heat wave season just yet. And it's been a while since we've seen at least in the, the seven day there that we could see a break in the humidity. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, Tony has another look at that tonight. And um, yeah, you know, it's been the kind of thing where we get a little bit of relief from the humidity, but like you said, then it just comes right, right back, back up again. Yep. All right, Pete, we'll stay with that. Thanks so much. Yep. Now in stories coming up new tonight, starting live at five, the New England Patriots.